guys, my name is Jen and this is my channel Embracing Chaos. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are a returning friend, thank you so very much. I truly appreciate your support. So, two weeks guys, two weeks of intermittent fasting. How are you guys feeling? Leave me some comments down below. I'd really like to hear how you're doing. Me? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm actually pretty impressed. Um, and I will tell you why here in just a few minutes. So I kind of feel like, I don't even know what to think right now. I'm just, I'm super excited. So two weeks ago, I started an intermittent fasting challenge with Susie Buey. I will link her channel down below. So guys, make sure you stop by and check her out. We also do a lot of chit-chatting on her Facebook group, so I will link that down below as well. Make sure you guys stop by and join so you can participate in our conversations as well. So as for my challenge, my fasting, um, most nights I went for 14 hours. I um, generally started my fasting anywhere between 7.30 and 9.30 at night, depending on what we were doing or what I had planned for the next morning. A couple times I did go over 15 hours, uh, I think maybe once because I wanted to, <laughs> and then the rest of the time, the other couple times I think because there was a wait at the restaurant we were at, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, well I'm just going to be honest with ya. Major changes for me, the biggest one is my energy level and my snacking. Like My snacking guys is just, and I know I said this in the last video, it's just non-existent. Now, I'm not saying that I didn't have my moments where I had snacks. Um, yesterday was one of them. I'll go into that a little bit with you. But I don't snack as much. And most days, I don't have anything. And I'm not hungry. And I'm still making sure that I get my points in. So that's impressive to me. Because usually, I'm the kind of person that will eat a meal. And then I'm like, okay, I'm not going to let myself eat again until this time. And I'm watching the clock until I can have my snack or my next meal. So, I don't know. Do you guys have that issue too? <sighs> it's rough. But this made it so much easier. So, those are the main changes. Those are the changes that I'm most excited about. It's just the, the decreased appetite, the increased energy. I wake up every morning now before my alarm clock. Like I'll wake up ready to go. Sometimes it's more, it's still dark out. And so I like have to make myself lay back down and rest for a little bit. Otherwise I know by the end of the day, I'm going to be tired. But for the most part, I wake up with the sun, which is fine because that's about a half an hour earlier than when I would normally get up. But it gives my body a chance to start waking up. I have a little bit more time to start planning my day a little bit more time for YouTube and coffee. Can't argue with that. Really impressed with this. Um, as far as my weight goes, I'm going to take a look. I have my sticky notes down here. Weight, I have noticed a loss. Um, the first week, it stuck to my desk, got it. The first week I lost 3.2 pounds. And this week, I lost 3.8 pounds, which really surprises me because this week, while I know I stayed within my point range, I went out to eat a lot more and I got things that on Weight Watchers I typically would not get. But because I'm not snacking, I think it kind of balanced out. But I'll tell you what guys, I had a couple onion rings at Applebee's and those are big. So I, I feel guilty because I ate those foods. But I didn't pig out on them. I ate within reason. I, I had a couple and called it a day and then I ate my salad. But before I started this, I never would have done that. If it had a high point value, I didn't touch it. So this fasting kind of allows that for me. I was really impressed. So past two weeks, I lost a total of seven pounds. And as for my overall WW weight loss, I started back at the beginning of February and I'm down a total of 44.6 pounds. So <sighs> that's a big deal for me. I'm really excited. This is the most weight that I've lost in a long time. So I'm feeling pretty proud of myself. And you know, I owe it to you guys and the Weight Watcher community on YouTube. 
I just can't believe how supported and encouraged I feel. And, and then commitment, like I'm committed to help myself, but I know you guys are watching and I want to help you guys too. And that's so motivating for me. And you guys, you email me, you message me, you tell me all the time that you appreciate what I'm doing and you encourage me and you support me. And I can't thank you guys enough for that because sometimes that's what keeps me going. The one area where I am really struggling and it's not necessarily related to the intermittent fasting is tracking. I have not been real motivated to track lately and that's not necessarily new. Um, if you guys watched me before the fast, um, I'm sure you remember that I was on the green plan and I was having trouble tracking. So I thought maybe I'd try the blue plan because I track a little bit less. I'm still tracking even less. Like I know I'm staying within my points but I'm pushing the limits. And I feel like if I don't start tracking again, then it's gonna be bad news bears. And those few onion rings that I ate from Applebee's the other day is gonna turn into an entire platter and then a burger and then fries with it. So I've got to get back on track with that. So I have made a commitment to show you guys as well as posting in Susie's Facebook group. So make sure you go send us a request and join that at 8 p.m. every night this week, I'm gonna send you guys a screenshot of my tracking. And then if I track all the way through Sunday, I get to buy a new plant. So <laughs> that's my motivation, but my main motivation is just to share with you guys. And I do have some other WW friends that are gonna be showing me their tracker for the day. And it's about accountability and supporting. So if you guys want in on that, feel free to come on by. It's a fantastic group for support. So that's where we're at with that. Here's the deal. Susie and I are going to continue with the intermittent fasting for two more weeks. We're going to end the second part of the challenge on June 29th. So I will do at least a weekly check-in, maybe a little bit more depending on what's going on. And on June 29th, you'll get to see my final results. But now, because we're pros at this intermittent fasting, we've decided to add a twist. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Here it is, guys. Five days a week, we're asking for a commitment to exercise. Now, Susie and I are gonna do five days. I am limited because I'm having another surgery on my leg Thursday, but I'm gonna find other exercises to do. I might be doing some, you know, I, I know I can do the arm exercises, but I want to see, like, are there any cardio options or anything that I can do while I'm seated in a chair? Because I won't be able to do a whole lot on my leg for at least a week. And then once I can, it's limited. I don't want to push it and then mess up the whole purpose of the surgery, so limited but i want to look for cardio options are you guys aware of any let me know i'm going to look them up online and maybe that'll be a video that i post in a few days just for ideas of cardio exercises that you can do to kind of get your heart rate up that don't require a lot of use of your legs there's an assignment so anyways i would love to see you guys commit to five days a week but if that's not going to work for you, it's all about setting goals and sticking to them. That's the success. The success is not giving up because you never fail unless you quit trying. And that's what you got to remember with this. So set a goal. Share it with me. Come to the Facebook group with Susie. Share it with her. I mean, that's what it's all about. Supporting each other. So let me know, leave me comments or questions down below. Anything you wanna share, you can email me, you can email Susie, you can find us on Instagram as well as her Facebook page. Anything you need or anything you wanna share, we're there for you. So, before I start rambling anymore, I've already told you guys this challenge is extended for two weeks for adding the twist of exercise. Find something that works for you. Anything is good. It's fine. You don't have to do what everybody else is doing. And you don't even have to share what you're doing if you don't want to. If you just want to say, hey, I exercise. I met my goal. That's perfect. We're proud of you. Good job. So I'm going to leave it here. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. 
If you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button down in the corner, I would really appreciate it. And if you'd like to be notified when I post more videos, go ahead and hit that bell button next to the subscribe button. In the meantime, guys, keep on smiling. And I'll see you later. Bye.